Greetings, fellow comrades. I am not one who the forces I know you. And in order to protect my identity, I have covered the majority of the skin of my body, and what I want to conceal my facial features from you. If you are choosing to do it, then it means that he says he needs impeded by the one I can lose from In his teeth, the dentist has asked me to explain that it is not possible for two reasons. Firstly, As you claim to see, there is a lot of videographic evidence as to these series using subbots to quickly increase the amount of subscribers on their channel. In fact, in this one video alone, I counted the videos for almost 100,000 in short bursts. I mean, it was over a long period of time, but that means that there are at least 100,000 uh, subbots in this and kind of subscriber count. Now, here's an outdated video by the top of us, which means that there's evidence that there will be a lot more subbots in there that were in the number included, and there's only the last increases I will mention. Which means that there are at least possibly twice as many subbots in the TV series as the subbot count. Now you may have heard about the Great Persian YouTube, which is a few by those 40,000 subscribers who would basically spam accounts, and a TV series of 200,000. You cannot trust the sub counter. For all we know, they actually have 3 million as the pity fight. I think this over time they've been doing a lot slower and a lot more smartly. They've appeared to have surpassed PewDiePie, and we cannot trust that. And, yeah, they, they, maybe, they have, maybe they don't have any more subbots, and maybe they don't have a single one left. However, with t series history of using subbots, we, cannot, we simply cannot trust the sub and the subscriber count. The second reason is it's known as the corporate paradox. As you can see here on Fair TV, you now have a counter for YouTube Music. You see, YouTube Music is a special channel on YouTube. It's also generated by the company, in which it has basically every single song in Hollywood on it. And it has 105 million subscribers. This doesn't just sound slightly familiar. I mean, it's, it's not even YouTube's kind of uh, original content. Just basically other people's songs on the music videos on this channel. T series does the exact same thing, but for every single song in Bollywood. None of their content is actually original. They take their songs and music from other Bollywood artists. So, that means that T series, you can say, is almost like the Indian branch of YouTube music. Put simply, T series. Is in the same really this is in the same category as YouTube music. However, if if that's true, then that means that YouTube music counts as a separate channel. And if it does, then that means that YouTube music was the first channel to reach 100 million subscribers. That would make T series's victory of achieving 100 million subscribers void. Then something like that. But if T Series claims that YouTube Music is not a real channel because it has no original content on it or because it's run by the by corporation, then that means that T Series has just effectively cancelled out its current position. And that would mean PewDiePie is once again the largest YouTube channel and he is in the lead for taking 100 million subscribers. And before anyone from T Series moves about how that's unfair because purely yeah, because YouTube it's their own it's their own account they should have it. Just be aware that just because YouTube just because it is the YouTube creator, what prevents them from being able to have channels of their own? I'm sure they have every right to have a channel just like we all do. YouTube has multiple channels across the entire across the entire platform. For example, there's YouTube Spotlight, which is but the you should be wide, which wants you to be about a much better version in 2018. You put the YouTube there, and there's the countless of other smaller channels made by the various creators. Now, T-Series has multiple channels. T-Series is, you could say, the, the parents' channel. It's the oldest and the largest. 
I did in 2004. If he's serious, he's the basically the, the client, YouTube's channel's board, that would be casting out their own channel, because they too are a corporation on YouTube. So here's the conundrum here. If P series claims that YouTube music isn't a channel because it's run by a corporation and they've got multiple channels, they will be cancelling out their current position in the subscriber ranking, which will make it which will make P5 once again the king of YouTube. But if they say that it but if they say that it does count, just as they are, then that would mean that someone another channel has already beaten to the to the 100 million subscriber mark, making that a victory boy. It could be said that it could be regarded as a victory for PewDiePie, since T Series haven't won. Either way, T Series is in a huge paradox here, because they either confirm that they're a channel, and which would make their another channel even larger than other people confirmed to be one, or even the second channel for each other media, not the first, the kind of victory for it. Or when they say that it's not the channel, and effectively cancel out, the element of their credibility as a channel, which would mean P would be number one again. And that is the corporate that is a corporate paradox. Because either way T series will lose. Now, if you will excuse me, although it has been on the front talking with you all, I now need to go and carry on my investigations. The council wishes you well, and I hope that I believe you all wish you well in these eight levels. The council's next video that he makes personally should be when he reaches 100 million subscribers himself. And if you anything but that, it's due to collaboration we're having with the friend of the council's, in which he'll be making trade parodies for PewDiePie vs. D-Series. Thank you for listening.